Hello guys, I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering. Are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Hey guys. This is a fun episode, you guys. We're doing summer updates on some of our faves. So yes. these are people that we've talked about in the past. Um, you know, we just items. Gonna, oh, yeah, anything just that's some a fun favorite. Things. So Travis Barker, who Aww. you know is Natasha's type. He's been one of yes. her sexiest men alive this week. Multiple times. Um, since sixth grade. <laughs> he has been hospitalized for pancreatitis. Yes. After complaining of cramps. Yeah. So severe cramps. Yeah. So that pancreatitis, y'all. I read is that serious. it's really painful. It's very painful. I had a friend, um, years ago that that had it and she was in the hospital for months oh my gosh and because it was like that bad that it was that bad she said it was so <sighs> she told me that it was so painful worse than any you know she had children and everything oh, worse than anything she felt um and for her they make it where you you take nothing by mouth like they they just want your digestive system to rest so oh. everything is IV. So she didn't take even water by mouth. Oh my god! And um, so you're like starving. For, I mean, you're, you're for months, for months, for months. Well, Ooh. I don't know. I guess I don't know if there's enough nutrition. Then you're not. Maybe starting. not. And then I think you're in so much pain. Like you know, you're, you you know what? You probably don't want. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And um, so that's a kind of serious thing, and we wish him well, him and Courtney, and just hope that um. He's on the mend. I did read that they were getting a special diet together for him. You know, he's mm -hmm. a vegan. And I I was thinking maybe that's why he went to that. Because mm -hmm. he Could was be. trying to maybe had some digestive issues before. before. Um, but they're trying to really refine that and get him something that will work in terms of diet. So we just wish him and Courtney all the best in sending healing thoughts and prayers to them yes gosh and in other news p diddy who has not been one of our sexiest men alive but i might correct that one day i don't know maybe how today he received the lifetime achievement award from bet he should kudos to him this man has been hustling he, forever I, for you real know, don't you love his hustle i you, got to say that you can't no matter how you him. feel about him right that hustle he is has he just has an organic genuine hustle and has always and been. has always been that way yeah i had a I huge that crush him. on him and my mom was like he is too old for you i'm like i don't care like i had he's a crush on him and he's I, cute. I, I love him and as he, a father. he looks kind of the same to me like he has no, not, not aged a whole not, bunch he's, he's held up well yeah he's, he's been a great dad yes. to his kids and we love that about him and um he has a new girlfriend i believe kind of yes. sort of new she was there i don't know her name but she was beautiful, of course. He always has beautiful women. But um, we just wish him well. We do. We just wish him well. And, and just congratulations on that. R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years for sex trafficking. Won't he do it? Yes. Won't he do it? So we, This should have happened a long time long ago. long time ago. A very long time ago. It was just. And I'm team get some of these parents next. Because some of these parents some of it, some of knew it. what was mm -hmm. happening. You were ushering your children into very highly inappropriate situations, all because he was R. Kelly. And yeah, locked yeah. them up too. I, I said what I said. He was in the air before Me Too. He was. So I think a lot of this was going on. Back, people, if you were a powerful man, I was going to say a powerful white man, but just a powerful man. Because look at mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, too, who mm -hmm. was doing stuff. People just look the other way. I, it's, and, so and it's so disturbing because you're looking the other way with children. Yes. I mean, this man has a whole, there's a whole sex tape out. I remember when I was in college. With children? Yes, ma'am. She was a minor. I was in, oh, I was an undergrad. Goodness. So this was between 2004 and 2009, some, somewhere in that 05 to 09, somewhere in that time zone. I was taking this class and it was, they went over like manipulation and yada, yada, yada. And R. Kelly came up. So we, if we wanted to watch portions of the tape, we could. Um, but I mean, it was one of those things where like, you had to talk to a counselor after, da, 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 da. So I opted to, because I was like, there's no way it's a kid. Like y'all are thinking, I'm thinking like 18, which I'm, it's still, it's, it's still too yeah. damn young for him, but whatever. Right. 
No, she was 14 years old. Oh my God. And I hated the argument of like, well, look at her body. Look at her. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care how how good she looks. And who can... She's Help a kid. How your body develops. Right. You know what I mean? There's Let me tell you, these 12 year olds. These double D's showed up real early. Right. Now. Okay. They, they have nothing to do with that. If a 12 year old was probably like or... a solid C cup by middle school. Yeah. I had nothing. There's no excuse. There's, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Yeah. And he knew what he was doing. With his and, nasty ass. Um, it, it, it's just really, it's 30 sad. Years, 30 years ain't even He's enough, never been fine. my cup of tea. I've never too much. It, just nothing about him. His music, anything. Right. He's just not my jam. But um, I used to love. So him, I really but... didn't follow him a lot or or what he was doing. It was kind of disturbing. The first little inklings that I heard about, and they weren't even talking about it in context of this. It was more. It was about Aaliyah. You know, mm-hmm. they've been mm-hmm. together and been married and all this. And even then, I was thinking, ooh, ooh, right. You know, like right. that's kind of how the hell did that work? Yeah, yeah. So that was the first little rumblings right. of it. But like I said, I didn't really follow him or, or what he was doing. So then when all this came up, it was just like all new to me, right. you know, but it's, it, he got what he deserved. Yes. He really did. And yeah. um, thanks to the brave women that, that came, came forward. forward. Yeah. So it, because of them, he was punished as he ought to be. Yes, absolutely. So. Okay. Rumor has it that Will Smith thinks he deserves a comeback after that Oscar slap. What do we think about that, y'all? There's not a glitch in the podcast. I want y'all to know that (laughs) silence was uh, just me not having anything nice to say. So, you know, y'all have heard, we've talked about this before, when... We we talked about it in context of a celebrity doing something, and we were saying, you know, sometimes you just have to sh- sit in the shitty diaper, mm-hmm. you know, just to learn your lesson. And that's kind of where I am with Will. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's not sat in it long enough. Mm-hmm. Just his the sense of entitlement, like I deserve, right? Like really, you deserve. What does what does Chris Rock deserve? Right, you know, baby. Don't now see. I, that's that's kind of where we'll I have am to mark with this it. Episode like, episode is explicit. If I say what I feel. J- just, <laughs> just that he's that no, it was no, worded like no, that. No, it's kind of it. like, sit yeah, in it. you're sit not in it for ready. A bit. You're not ready. You're not ready because mm-hmm. he needs to be repentant and to mm-hmm. know that what he did was unacceptable under right. any circumstance. Yes. You can't justify it. No. You know, we talked about it before. Um, we could go all day about, you know, his trauma, what triggered him, you know, mean people, all the things. Yes. It was unacceptable. It's unacceptable. You just keep your hands to yourself, period. Yes. We don't have to talk about anything else. So that's where we are on it. We are not saying that he can never come back. That um, I'm just saying, just go sit in that diaper a little bit. But you're not ready. Yeah. You're not. You ain't broke yet. So you okay. Yeah. (laughs) Um. Julia Roberts and George Clooney are slated to star in the rom-com Ticket to Paradise, which hits theaters October 21st. So okay. rom-com f- fans, fans, fellow rom-com And fans, especially like- We have something to look forward to. Well, and even like, I mean, come on, veteran actors. Like, come on, George oh, Clooney, Julia Roberts. And they're so cute together. And they're cute together. They're believable. Yes. And this is, a, this is funny. This is- a Ooh, couple pumpkin spice latte Ooh, season at, right? at the movies. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Um, okay. COVID, please die down. So Come on now, to the leave us alone. Um, <laughs> this is they were married before. This is the premise of. I'm oh, telling you, the I was plot. like, what? Okay. This is the plot. They were married, have a daughter, and the daughter's getting married. So they each feel they they don't want her to get married. So their exes coming together, like we are going to sabotage. To try to sabotage this. Oh, this has the potential to be But that's going to put them together. That's what. That's what okay. I'm told. Okay. Yeah. And I think, okay. um, I think you can watch a trailer. I saw snippets of it. I don't know if the whole trailer is out. Not yet, quite. Okay. But um, that's the premise of it, and it sounds so cute. It does. Now speaking of marriage. I, your girl was totally shocked yesterday. I was taken aback. So I don't know if you guys know this. I am a massive Hellboy fan. And so I love Ron Perlman. 
I like I, I love him. Oh, okay. I love Ron Perlman. You guys, I'm looking with this I blank know. look. Like she's who, like, what? what? Who, what? Okay. Yeah. She's like, is this one of your? But anim- I do. I is do this one of your anime. I do know Ron Perlman. <laughs> Which okay. I like okay. Hellboy animated. I like Hellboy with um uh with Ron Perlman, and I I you know I thought him and his wife Opal. I thought they were cute. They've been together a very very long time, and they are they're divorced. He is remarried. Oh, okay. right. I, I missed this whole thing. So Ron Perlman married his fiance, Allison Dunbar, and they were apparently, they uh, did a show together. Like okay. right now, like they're doing a show together. And then I know he's um, a mature man. Yeah, he's 72. Okay, so how old is his fiance is 49. Okay, not, they not got married. Little, uh, startup yeah. that's that's what they're on the show or the the TV, whatever okay, is called Startup. Okay. And they got married on an Italian getaway. Oh, and congrats. I was just taken aback because I, I didn't even know him and Opal had divorced. Okay, but I wasn't familiar, I'm not familiar with him so much, so I don't know, right? Yeah, no, I know, I'm a, I'm a Ron Perlman. You know, fan. Well, and, we're you know we're all about second chance love. Yes. So kudos to them. Yeah. Congrats. He had been married for thirty eight years. Wow. Filed for divorce uh, six months after a picture leaked of him and his now wife kissing in a scene that was not a for the show. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so, if it's not working. It's not working. Yeah. Opal, you'll find someone. You sure will, girl. You will. Opal is cute. Okay. But that was just a little drop in, a little snippet yeah. that threw me well, off. Well, gosh, um, people are getting married in Italy because yes, I uh, thought the same thing. I was Courtney like, okay. And Travis. Yes. So, that's so a good I was like, Travis Italy. Record. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's I re- beautiful. Maybe I renew my vows there. Yeah. Wouldn't Ooh, that, that be, be fun? so fancy? Yeah. Y'all, y'all will get all the reels. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. This is for Natasha. Y'all know that she loves, loves, loves. Hocus Pocus. <sighs> Guys, you just don't know. Okay, oh so gosh. Hocus Pocus 2, Two premieres on Disney Plus September 30th. <laughs> so get ready. Get your pumpkin spice lattes ready. Yes, guys. Gosh, I hope that you, you guys. Oh, my God. It is, when I tell you. I'm bubbling over. The USA Southern part is on fire. <laughs> we are in hell in terms of heat. Baby. So I hope by September 30th, we have a little bit of a cool down. Otherwise, I guess we can just turn the air way down. I'm turning it way down. Turn the fireplace yes. on and kind of get in I'm going to swaddle that baby, turn that AC down to 62. I'm turning my fireplace on. I'm pretending it's cold. I don't care if it's hot outside. Right. I don't and have a the pumpkin spice latte. And I'm having it. And I am going to I'm, get. I'm looking my forward to this life. too. It's so cute. And Guys, all, of, we all are, three of them are adorable. I love so, you it. You know, I, y'all, I love Hocus Pocus. I mean, I just can't even say enough how much I love Hocus Pocus. I have this like really cool Hocus Pocus tattoo idea, and uh, my husband's was my husband surprised me. It was like, it's time. It's time to get your Hocus Pocus tattoo. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm like seven months pregnant. Why is it time? Like right now. <laughs> And then he he drops this bomb on me like it's happening. Hocus Pocus two is coming out. This is not a drill. And I'm like screaming. My kids are like, "Mommy, what's wrong with you?" I was like, "Oh my god!" Like literally tears. I was so excited. And so we actually have some Hocus Pocus inspired merch that's going to drop. And I'm dropping it a little early because some of y'all are like me and you're Hocus Pocusy all year long. It, it doesn't have to be the fall. But yeah, I'm super excited for y'all to see my little Hocus Pocus meets coffee inspired merch. Because I just, it's I be just so love cute. them. I love all three of them. Be I so love Bette Midler. How can you she not? She is just oh, all I love the her. feels. Um, and you love Sarah Jessica Parker. I do. You love I do. Sarah and Jessica And Kathy, Parker. help me with her last name. Did you? I can never Jimmy, say right. I think. Did you know, another favorite show of mine, did you know she was Peggy on King of the Hill? And you no. know, King of the Hill is my all time. I own every single season. Like I love King of the Hill. It's unreal. Like obsessed, like obsessed. It's my all time favorite show. Of course it's animated. She was Peggy on King oh, of the Hill. I did not know that. So I can't pronounce her last name, but I love I love her. her. I love yes. all three of them. I, in in other news, um, My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 yes. is coming yes. out. That, Which, this could be good. We had that was on the top thirty-three rom-coms. It was on the list. 
Was it? It was. Okay. Which I do love that. I do too. That's a, that's a great one. But but there, there's been a um, part two, but part three is coming. It's coming. This fall? and I believe. I oh gosh, I we don't know. know. I don't it's know okay. the time, but um, the lead lady. And my mind just went blank. You know, y'all know, know who we mean. About. She's directing. So kudos to her. That's, oh, that's, a, that's really a big gig cool. for her. Yeah. So I don't know the, what it's about. I, I, they didn't, I haven't heard any of that or the timeline, but it is in the work. So okay. for you rom-com fans, those are two, um, that Julia becoming. Roberts and that one. My big fat Greek wedding. Yeah. Three. This is so funny to me. Okay. Ben Affleck, okay, Ben and Jen are still going strong. Just, you know, I got to slip that in. Everything's good. The green ring is doing good. They're house hunting. Happily ever after is in progress, okay? But the other day, Ben's son, Sam, accidentally (laughs) backed a Lamborghini into a BMW at the dealership. Yes. So I get, they were there. They were all there because Jen was there. Yeah, she was there ben too. was there. So, okay, we don't know the real deal, what was going on. They were maybe trading in the car, getting the car worked on, serviced. I don't know what was going on. Dude jumps in. But the Lamborghini <laughs> was running. Yeah. So somebody had left the keys in the car and left it running. Might have been they maybe they did. I don't know. That might have been their car. They didn't they didn't say. They didn't say. But the kid jumps in and I don't know what he touched. Reverse girl. He touched reverse. (laughs) But but you know it seemed like it would would know if you don't have I was thinking but it seemed like it just barely bumped. They showed. I mean it just barely bumped it. And they were parallel parked and it was pretty tight. Yes. It, it was. was a tight park and it bumped the BMW. It, I didn't see any damage. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, can you imagine y'all? I mean, this bright yellow one at that guys. And, but you see Ben going over there and, you know, yes, doing it. It's like a whole thing. Like, but okay. Now it just proves, okay. Take the make and model out of it. It just proves they have normal shit too. Because my sister drove clear through someone's garage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like my friend's husband said he had a wreck like 30 minutes after he got his driver's license. Oh my so God. Stuff like that happens. I mean, it happens. And, you know, now you can laugh about it. And I'm sure they're laughing about it. Oh, yeah. But they, they were they laughing can... in those pictures, baby. Ben well, was hot. Ben's face was like, what the fuck? Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It it just, I think the kid, he probably, number one, Sam, I'm defending you. Number one, he might not have kind of known it was on, you know, like he's just going to sit in there. You know how kids do. And I don't, I've never been in a Lamborghini. Y'all know I don't like cars, don't like to drive. So I don't know what the mechanism, you know, where the, you know, reverse is to how he could have hit it. It could be a push button. It could be, I don't know, but some kind of way he got it in reverse. So Sam, you on your way to a driver's license, baby. You just need a little bit more practice. Just a little help. (laughs) Just a little bit more practice and you'll be there. That just tickles me. But that was kind of funny. But, it, okay, Ben and Jen are doing really good. If you can be in those stressful situations. And still find a way to they're laugh. They're still together, still hugged up. They got plenty of money. Now, see, if you if you got plenty of money, you can laugh at stuff like that. You're right about and that. And there's nothing about, that's just a little bit of money and a little inconvenience. So they're all right. It's, it is Nobody was that. hurt. I don't even think yeah, the cars were hurt. Yeah, I don't think anyone hurt. was hurt. So they're mm. good. So... <laughs> Who are you picking for your sexiest sexiest man man alive alive this week? week? Okay. So I, even though I've never seen the show, I plan on watching it. You guys know I have a very limited capacity for television shows that involve real humans. Like I just can't, I can't do it. And you guys know that, but I am picking Sam Elliott. No, Elliott Page. Why did I say, Oh. oh, I knew I was thinking of, I was thinking of someone else, but I'm picking Elliott Page. I want to watch. Have you seen Umbrella Academy? I see. Oh, 
y'all. Kind of? You know, fantasy. It's oh, hard. That's I love, right. I love Harry mind. Potter, but the other ones, I tried it. And, and uh, in I fairness, it you. wasn't bad. I just wasn't in the mood for it. I'm I'm going to try it again okay. this summer. There's going to be one day where where I get into. So this, that's, this that's is one the, of my maternity which one, leave. Two or three. So I'm not even done with one. To okay. be honest, that's one of my maternity leave shows that I really that I'm like, ooh, I'm going to watch this. Like I, I mean, it, what I saw was kind of cute. I just wasn't in the headspace for that type of a. Well, show. I know I know he has a role there, and. He's a cute, a little, a little slim for my taste, a little slim. But you know what though? That's a lie because Travis Barker is just as slim. So I guess not enough tattoos. Like you gotta be slim with tattoos and a little taller. No, I you know a little. Little, I don't know how. I mean, I can actually deal with that. Okay. I just we just you need, don't mind we, the, you no, don't we just need that. a couple more tattoos. He's, That's it. I mean, he's so cute. But he's and a they, little cute. They wrote the, his transition into the storyline. I didn't know this, which is so cool. Okay, I do love that. I, I love, love that. that. I really, really love that. that. That's but great. He's adorable. So that's my pick. Okay, so I am picking Sam Neill. Now y'all know him from Jurassic Park and there's a new Jurassic Park out that I believe he's in too. Yes. And you know who he reminds me of? Rupert, the guy the That's plays why, Rupert yes. on Sam Elliott. Yes. I mean not so much in look, no, but yes, more that type of it. character cuz yes. he can play a and that's, really and that's good, your jam. But he can play You've like got a, a type. nice guy. You've so got a type. And um and you know he played in Jurassic Park. He was a nice guy, and I so I guess he's still a nice guy in Jurassic Park. Ooh. And I have seen him play assholes too, but he is handsome. To you me. said Jurassic Park, and you know who it made me think of? Who? Jeff Goldblum. Oh yeah, Sploosh. I don't know if he's in this one. Is he? Yes. Is he? Is, every, is everybody back? I feel like yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know that's like they're taking it way back. All time favorite. He wanted to be a paleontologist as a child. He has like notebooks that we found where, as a child, he like wrote out his life plan to be a paleontologist. Oh and, my god! I mean, he had a whole. My boys were into dinosaurs whole thing. too for a long, long. We're time. going to Dinosaur Valley soon because somehow my husband's never been. But anyway, Jeff Goldblum. I mean, I feel like I've used him before. Oh, I have. You I know have. I've picked him you before. Have. Yeah. No, that's a long time. That, well, that's situation. her. That's her side guy for this week. That's my side piece. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free For Coffee podcast wherever you are listening. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Network.